What are you reporting? I'm um, being Karen Redland. Yeah. has been robbed. When somebody calls 911, geospatial technology is present from the get-go. The value of GIS for us is really all about putting police officers where they need to be, when they need to be there. Which way did he go? He went towards State Street. I believe he's going west. There was a bank robbery at the Bank of America right in the center of downtown. We can put in the address of the incident. We plug it in, we tell it that we want to see one, three, and five minute perimeters. If the suspect drove for one minute, Rutland's Charlie six. officers are going to set up a perimeter around here. This is three minutes out. This is five minutes out. Copy. Hello? Yeah. We have the suspect in custody. Thank you for staying on the line, okay? Okay, bye. It all starts and ends with a location. In a first responder environment. You wouldn't have your ID on you, would you? Geospatial technology ties in with longer term investigations that are ongoing at a particular house that's known for selling drugs. Perhaps one person in that house is actually an undercover detective. Critical information to know. If you have a hundred square mile area to provide patrol service to and a couple of officers to do it with, hotspot mapping gets people to the middle of where the problems are. It involves a crime analyst evaluating different crime types and then how closely related those are by location. I wanted them to be able to see what was going on recently, so I put a two-week density map of residential burglary with hot spots along with the incidents on top of it. As soon as he pulls up the map, we'll work from Cajon Street. Sharing that helps improve efficiency with limited resources. In California, all registered sex offenders who are on parole wear a GPS unit. Certain sex offenders are prohibited from going within a thousand feet of a school or parks or places that kids congregate. Everybody who has the actual bracelet um, can be tracked on this map. I can go in here in real time or play back what he did. I can say, yep, that's the school and that's where he's not to be. Then we can get them off the street. One happened to be in Redlands. This particular person seemed to go out of their way to drive by a university campus. Did a little research and found that that university campus was where he had committed his previous offense. Oh my gosh, we're going to that. We watched as his points traveled right into the university campus where his parole condition said he couldn't be. Parole. Hey, parole. And we're able to pick the guy up for violating his parole. The notion that somebody's really watching uh, where these people go is important if those bracelets are to have any deterring value.